Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the Dennis Bloodnock channel. Now, in the last video, the Nikon D780, this camera, took on a series of opponents in a background defocus challenge. The opponents were the APS-C sized Nikon D7000 and the iPhone 11 Pro, which is filming this part of the video right now. Well, in this part, the Nikon D780 will take on its predecessor, this camera, the Nikon D750, in a background defocus challenge. And so, let us see what we can achieve with these two cameras the Nikon D750 and the Nikon D780. In this test, the two cameras will use the 85mm f1.8 G lens and the 50mm f1.4 G lens. Both lenses will be attached to both cameras, obviously not at the same time, they will swap between one and the other, and the two cameras will have various different aperture settings varying from f6.3 all the way down to f2 so that we can see what can be achieved on both lenses and on both cameras. Let's see what we can achieve. Hello YouTubers, well here we are with the Nikon D780 using the 50mm f1.4 G lens but at f6.3 and the D750 using the 85mm f1.8 G lens also at f6.3. So, see what you think with regard to the background blur. Well, YouTubers, we have now swapped cameras, swapped lenses. The Nikon D750 is now the main camera, the A camera, and it is using the 50mm lens, but at f4. The D780 is now the B camera, the secondary camera, and it is using the 85mm lens, also at f4. So, see what you think with regard to image quality and, of course, background blur. And at this latest stage of the test, the D780, still with the 50mm f1.4, is down to f2. And the D750, still with the 85mm f1.8, is also down to f2. So again, see what you think with regard to background blur. Hello boys, I bet 
a bit disappointed, aren't you lads? <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers, to conclude this video, we are currently shooting with the Nikon D750 using the 50mm f1.4 lens but at f2 and this is the main camera and then the B camera, the secondary camera, is the Nikon D780 with the 85mm f1.8 G lens and that is also at f2. Overall I would say that the background defocus between the two cameras is very similar. I would give the D780 the edge but the thing is the main advantage of the D780 comes from the better sensor and the better autofocus. Anyway many thanks for watching please like and subscribe and Dennis Bloodnut will return in the next video. Thank you.